Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize charts. More specifically, I'll be showing you how you can add your own customizable drawings and indicators to your charts on the IG trading platform. Now, before I do begin, I would like to mention that if you would like to try out IG Trader, if you're looking for a demo of the product, feel free to check out the card that is appearing on the top of the video right now, or take a look down in the description below for a direct link to the demo, demo signup page for the IG trading platform. So like I said, I will be showing you how to customize your charts and specifically adding own customizable drawings and indicators to your charts on this platform. So as you can see, we are currently working with a blank workspace. I'll head over to my side menu here, go through all FX pairs, and I'll open up the euro versus the US dollar contract. Now, if you'd like, you can work within this section here, but I would personally suggest to add it to your workspace by clicking on the button in the top right hand corner and then expanding this area. So now we're working with a full screen chart here. And as you can see, I do have a couple drawings already on my screen. Let me get rid of those real quick and then we can begin with a brand new chart. So all chart customization options are typically found in the top left hand corner here. As you can see, we are currently working with a daily time scale on our charts. If you like, you can break this down even further, monthly, weekly, daily. We have hourly increments and then we have even further breaking down one second, one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute, 10, 15, 30. And we can also filter by tick data as well. Other than that, we do have other day ranges here in which we can filter our chart by. Here we can, as you may have seen in our other video, add multiple charts to a layout at a time. So if you are working with only one monitor and you would like to view multiple charts, this section may be for you. And then here we have our indicators. So if you didn't see that, it is the third icon from the left in the top left hand corner here. If you do hover your mouse over it for a second, it does say indicators. So if you left click that, as you can see, we get our entire list of indicators here. If an indicator is applied to your chart, as you can see here with the A room indicator, it will display a check mark next to that indicator name. Depending on the indicator, they will behave a bit differently. As you can see here, this indicator was placed to the bottom portion of my chart and it does have its entirely own section to be analyzed with. Some indicators will overlay your chart, such as Bollinger Bands or some of the other indicators on this platform. So just keep that in mind. Some will appear at the bottom here. If they do appear in the bottom, as you can see, you do get a little icon here. If you drag it, it will actually increase or decrease the size of that indicator panel down here. And if you would like to close it out, you can simply click on that X next to the indicator name and it will completely remove that from your chart. If you'd like, you can also go through the indi indicator section to remove it as well. So as you can see, I just have replaced that same indicator. There is a check designating that it has been applied to our chart. But if you uncheck it, as you can see, it will remove it. So this is pretty universal across all the indicators on this platform left click to check it, add it to your chart, left click it again to remove it from your chart. As I mentioned before with our Bollinger Bands, as you can see, we have added it to our chart now and it is actually overlaying it. If you want to remove it, you can do it in one of two ways. Although I did show the method through the top left hand corner, it's also worth noting that you can go right click on your chart anywhere within that chart head over to indicators, and then you get your full list of indicators here as well. If you want, you can simply left click that and it will remove your indicator. So if you'd like, you can pause the video and scroll through the list of available indicators on IG Trader. There is quite a few to customize and mess around with, and they're all free of use, of course. Now, as I said, we'll also be talking about customizable drawings. If you do like to draw specific lines on your chart or create your own indicators per se, you can do so by clicking on the pencil icon again in the top left hand corner. 
This is the drawings icon again, the little pencil. It is fourth from the left. And as with indicators as well, if you do right click within your chart, you can access your drawings directly from this right click context menu by again, right clicking, scrolling down to drawings, and then you have all your available drawing tools here. If you'd like, you can also click the drawing toolbar, which as you can see, will give us a shortcut per se of the available drawing tools on the platform. So instead of going through our drawing submenu, we can just simply select a drawing indicator down here in the bottom left hand corner now for ease of access. As you can see, if you hover over your mouse on one of the available icons, it will designate what that drawing tool is. So if we do select Fibonacci retracements, as you can see, we do get a crosshair now. And the thing that is quite nice about this platform is unlike other platforms, our drawings tools will snap to anything on our chart. So we do have our candles. As you can see, we do get a little circle that does snap to the end of our candlesticks here. And this creates and makes for really precise and accurate drawings. So with our Fibonacci retracement tool selected, we can left click on the top of our candle. And no matter what, once it is clicked, it is locked into that spot designated by that grayish white circle. And for the second spot on our retracement line as well, as you can see, if we scroll around and hover over any available candle on the chart, it will snap to that designated position. So once we have our second location of our drawing tool here, simply left click and it was placed. Now, if you'd like, you can stop there, or if you need to, you can extend your Fibonacci retracement lines all the way to the Y axis of your chart or wherever you'd like. So once you're ready, simply left click and it will lock in place. Now, once you have selected it through this sub menu here in the bottom left, the little toolbar, we can simply left click it to uncheck Fibonacci retracements, and then we can begin using the platform as needed. If you'd like, you can delete any drawing tools by going through the drawing tool menu on the top left or by right clicking in selecting delete all drawings. If you have multiple drawings, for example, if we create a random arrow, it, no real rhyme or reason why I'm doing this, but just to show you, if I do have multiple drawings at one time and I only want to delete one, I can simply left click that and then click on delete. Once it is selected, as you can see, it will only delete that drawing or that indicator. Same thing again for our arrow. It's currently unselected. We move our crosshair over, left click that arrow, you will see the drawing tool lines there. Simply click delete on our keyboard and it will completely erase that drawing from our chart. Now, as for other aspects of customization in relation to charts on this platform, if you'd like to at any time, you can enable or disable either drawings or indicators. Simply click on this little eye icon. It's also called the show icon if you do hover over it. And as you can see, you can select what you would like to enable or disable currently on your chart in relation to what is actually shown. So if you do have a couple of positions or orders that have been placed, as you can see, those will indicate on your chart. If you have indicators, you can either in activate or deactivate your indicators to display. If you have drawings, as you can see, we only have this one small arrow, but if I deactivate it, all drawings will disappear. They will not be deleted. They will still be saved, but they will just simply disappear. So if you do have drawings using your own technical analysis and you do have indicators applied as well, and it may get a bit too cluttered, you can simply activate or deactivate as needed to display what you need at that time. We also have price lines, which as you can see is the indicator right here, designating where the current market price is. We have price changes, which are shown at the bottom left-hand corner there. A timeline, again, orders, positions, indicators, drawing, and HLOC data. Now, as for other things that are customizable, there are specific news events that can be shown directly on the chart. For example, if you go into events, we'll go through United States. If you'd like, you can select all, or we can select, for example, ADP, national employment. 
And once activated, you will get small calendars there at the bottom showing when one of those events did trigger. It will show the actual price compared to the estimated and the previous price. And we can continue to scroll through for more information. As you can see, it is lined up with the current date. And if you do hover over it, it will tell you the date that it occurred. Let's deactivate that now. And just so you can see, a selected news event does show a check mark next to it. An easy way to remove all of them is simply deselect all. If you'd like to change your chart type, you can go through types here. There's candlestick available, line. We also have HLOC. And we have mountain. Going back to candlestick now, just a few other things to mention. We do have the price type, which is filtered. Currently is based off the mid price. We can filter by bid if we'd like, or we can filter by ask as well. If you do have indicators that you have applied as well as drawings and you do need to save them for later, I would suggest creating a layout here. Just simply click save as we can type our layout name as drawing. If you do trade a particular instrument, for example, we have the Euro versus US dollar and you do have specific indicators for that chart or that instrument, you may want to save that accordingly just to stay organized for yourself. In that way, you can pull it up at a later time in any case that it does not save or you reopen a chart and you need to close this one. So you can just simply save it. And once it is saved, you can go back through your layouts here and then we can click apply. And as you can see, we do have the standard or the reset or we can simply go back to our drawing, which we just simply saved right there. Also, you can customize the appearance if you'd like. This is for those users that need to customize the colors. So if you are colorblind, for example, or you just need something that stands out, you can simply go through and customize the colors as needed. One last thing I would like to mention that if you do need to export this for whatever reason, you can click on export chart and it will save it as a static image, a PNG specifically. So as you can just see, I exported it and now I'll be opening it up on my computer through my image viewer. And as you can see, this is a static view of a chart. So if you are creating a presentation, a market report, you need to send a static view of the chart to one of your colleagues or friends also trading this instrument. This is something to keep in mind. That is a capability of this platform. So that is quite nice rather than having to use your own or Windows own screen capture tool. This is a high resolution image. And again, it just creates a static view of that chart with all your drawings or indicators applied. That just about wraps it up for this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you did, feel free to subscribe, give the videos a thumbs up, and comment if you have any questions or concerns. Finally, once again, if you would like to try out a demo for this product, feel free to check out that card that is hovering over your video right now, or head down to the description below for a direct link to the signup page for the IG trading platform. We thank you for watching.